This use update is brought to you by. Everyone's looking for more space. How many pairs of shoes do you need? Closet space. Circle again. I think I see one. Parking space. And that is how Pythagoras theorem works. Understand? Even headspace. But when it comes to data storage, MyCloud from Lime has plenty of room for you. Upgrade to a Lime data plan of 500 megs or more and get 3 gigs of MyCloud data storage free. It's great for storing photos, music, and much more. So don't delete it. Store it on MyCloud from Lime. It's the only space to be. Upgrade to Lime! Welcome to the Bobby This Today evening update for Wednesday, February 11th, 2015. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. Thanks for joining us. Return to work immediately. That directive from the Ministry of Education to protesting teachers of the Alma Paris and Parkinson Memorial Secondary Schools. The teachers stayed away from the classroom for the second day, saying that they would not be returning until issues, including that of safety, were addressed. But in a statement issued this afternoon, the ministry condemned the move, saying that no dispute existed between it and the Barbados Union of Teachers for such an action to be taken. It said that such a move was not in keeping with sound industrial relation practices since at no time did the BUT or school administration inform ministry officials about issues related to discipline, safety of students, teachers or other staff members. The ministry stressed teachers withdrawing their services in that manner was tantamount to a strike and any such action which fails to follow the proper industrial relations practice had consequences. Now, Barbados today contacted, contacted BUT head Pedro Shepard, but he said he had not received any official response from the ministry on the matter. He, however, revealed that two letters were sent today outlining the teacher's grievances. He said once the union receives official notice from the ministry, his members will be informed. Meanwhile, Parkinson principal Jeff Brooms has taken issue with the manner in which the Ministry of Education handled his personal information. Brooms tells Barbados today he is disappointed that the ministry informed the public through a release that he would commence on a term's leave, then retire in January next year. He made it clear that the ministry cannot dictate when he will retire. The ministry cannot say retirement time for me. Holy Ministry cannot say the leave. They cannot say retirement time for me. I have written them outlining my, 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 my trust of retirement, and I told them my retirement day be 1st of May. If they, if, they, 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 if they have a different focus, so it may end up being what they want, but it, it, I will get a legal I will get a legal trust on it first. And it will, and that will determine what it is. All right. I will. I, 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 I find it out. To play. I, I, I don't know what they will write something like that to me. Yeah, I, but they will write something like that. Why would they put, put my private correspondence to them, the contents of my private correspondence, into the public domain? I don't know why they would do it. But they must know why. I had told you yesterday that there were 30 teachers, that there were 28 teachers at school yesterday. Indeed, there were 30. 30, yeah. Uh, and today there are 31 Whoa. present. And so I am not sure. But the, and, um, so I don't. I, have, I am not even stressing myself over really. I, I'm trying to do the best I can with the resources I have and these student leaders to control the school. I, and I stay in contact with Ministry of Education, but I don't have much else really. None of the change. The change. But based on the fact that you displayed all these weapons that you would have confiscated from these students. Well, no, they are, they never, there is no school in Barbados where there are no weapons. There are weapons in every secondary school. Uh, we can pretend as much as you want Parkinson and the point too, right? That, that means something to whether it be related or not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my position is all of us, principals and teachers, we have to be vigilant and do what we can. In other news, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Joy St. John is assuring the country that there is no need for panic as officials monitor two international travel travelers who arrived from Ebola-infected countries. The two arrived on island during the last 21 days, but Dr. St. John tells Barbados today they are low risk and did not pose any threat to the population. They're not being quarantined. They're, they have no, they're low risk travelers and they are not being restricted. We're just checking their temperatures twice daily which is the usual way that we would deal with low-risk persons. Out of a, a, abundance of caution, because they've come from the areas, they haven't had contact, they don't live in the hot spots, but they are in the country. So I just, we just do that. That's in keeping with the WHO and CDC guidelines. A 16-year-old from St. Michael has been remanded to prison on gun charges. 
Roshan Romari Gibbs appeared in the District A Magistrate's Court today, charged for the illegal possession of a 12-gauge shotgun and one round of ammunition. The 3rd Avenue, Wilkinson Road, Richmond Gap residence, is also charged with the possession of a camouflage pants. He will return to court on March 11. Meantime, police are seeking the public's help in locating an elderly man. He is 63-year-old Houston Brathwaite, a resident of the so Optimist Senior Citizens Village in Eden Lodge. Brathwaite was last seen yesterday at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital between 1.50 and 7.55 p.m., where he was seeking medical attention after complaining of feeling unwell. Brathwaite, who is about 5 feet 9 inches tall, slim built, and brown in complexion, was wearing a pink short sleeve shirt, khaki or grey pants, a blue pig cap and white sneakers at the time. Anyone with information concerning his whereabouts is asked to call the nearest police station. Now this question for you. Did you buy a Super Lotto ticket from Plus Two in Oystein's Christchurch? Well, if you did, you may just be the lucky winner of $5.4 million. Yes, you heard me, over $5 million. And that's when I played the lucky numbers 7, 13, 16, 21, and 24, which were pulled in last night's draw. No one has yet collected that huge jackpot. So whoever it is, a big hearty congratulations from Barbados today. In sports, nine years and counting, and Blue House are still the athletics champion of St. George Secondary School. Since 2007, Blue House have commanded the track, and today at the Interhouse Sports at the National Stadium, they kept the tally going with a massive 1,285 points to easily outdistance Red House, who finished second with 1,089.5 points, the third place Greenhouse with 983 points, and Purple House, who finished fourth with 871.5 points. This is regional and international news after this short break. Originally in Trinidad, another impassion plea by members of the Highway Reroute movement who are pleading with their leader, environmental activist Dr. Wayne Koblalsin, to end his hunger strike. The plea comes as talks between the group and officials broke down once again with no resolution. And on the international scene, prison sentences for two ship captains. First in Italy, where the captain of the Costa Concordia who will spend the next 16 years behind bars for manslaughter. Captain Francesco Centennio was at the helm when the ship hit some rocks and sank in 2012, killing 32 people. He was accused of taking the liner too close to shore and then abandoning ship with passengers and crew still on board. Chatino denied the charges and said he was being made a scapegoat. Over in Asia, where the former Coast Guard captain was jailed for four years for negligence in connection with the April 2014 South Korean ferry tragedy. According to a court spokesman, he was found guilty of professional negligence, which resulted in death. More than 300 passengers died, most of them school students. That's our Barbies Today evening update. We'll be back again tomorrow morning. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadestoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune in to Channel 101 on Lime TV, as well as Mix 96.9 FM to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. Have an enjoyable evening. This news update is brought to you by... Everyone's looking for more space. How many pairs of shoes do you need? Closet space. Circle again, I think I see one. Parking space. And that is how Pythagoras theorem works. Understand? 
even headspace. But when it comes to data storage, MyCloud from Lime has plenty of room for you. Upgrade to a Lime data plan of 500 megs or more and get 3 gigs of MyCloud data storage free. It's great for storing photos, music, and much more. So don't delete it. Store it on MyCloud from Lime. It's the only space to be. Upgrade.